Hey, how are you doing? Long time no see. A long time since you saw me, anyway. So anyway, wait. No, please don't close the door. Please, please, please. I came to your door like a normal person this time, instead of going through your window. See, I'm trying. So please, just hear me out. <sighs> Thank you. Thank you for giving me a chance. You're a saint. No wonder I love you more than my therapist can ever understand. So the reason why I'm here is that there was something I needed to talk to you about. Remember how all those times you woke up to find me in your house making you breakfast, and then you were very upset that I broke in? Or all those times you came home to find me snuggled up in your blanket? Mumbling in my sleep about how much I love you. I'm really quite the romantic, aren't I? I mean, no, bad, bad me. Respect boundaries. <sighs> anyway, what I'm trying to say here is that I love you, very, very much, and that has taken up all of my time. Whether it's those things I just told you about. Or whether it's me going through your trash to make sure you're eating all right, like some sort of love raccoon. So basically, loving you is my full-time job, which means I don't have time for my actual full-time job, or even a part-time job, really. What I'm saying is, I got fired. Yeah. See, I've spent so much time just focusing on you that I just couldn't clock in at work, and well, they understandably fired me. So now I'm unemployed, and well, I'm actually running low on food, and rent is coming due soon, and I'm kind of broke. So I was wondering if I could stay with you, please. Pretty please. I know I bothered you a lot before because I was breaking into your home and all. But think, if you let me stay with you, then I wouldn't be breaking in. I'd just be in your house consensually. Wouldn't that be romantic? I mean, okay, maybe it's not romantic. Maybe you just want to treat me like a roommate. But hey, standing offer. If you're in the market for something less platonic. Anyway, I'm sure that I can be worth your while. I'm super, super, super into you. So think about how much help I can be around the house. You know, when I do something for you, I do it with all I've got, one hundred percent, and that includes chores. So, for instance, if you gave me a list of groceries to buy. I'd make sure to get everything, even the things that are out of stock. It doesn't matter. For you, I'll manage somehow. Like if you want chicken but they don't have any, I'll hunt chickens myself if I have to. Well, okay, I don't know if there are wild chickens, but if there is, then I'd hunt them for you. And if wild chickens aren't a thing, then laws never stopped me before. I'll get that chicken somehow. And you know I always give it my all when I make you breakfast. The look in your eyes always tells me how delicious you think of my cooking looks. And yes, the rest of your expression is clearly saying, "What are you doing in my house?" But the look in your eyes knows what it's talking about. And I'm such a good cook too. If you would just try my cooking, you could see for yourself. And I've never drugged it. Not even once. If I wanted to drug you, I could just do it while you're sleeping, but I don't. See, you can trust me. And if you're not satisfied, I'll put even more effort into my cooking. I'd even learn how to make sushi for you. I mean, have you tried to make sushi before? You honestly need some sort of degree to pull that headache off. Or think about how much skill and effort I put into cleaning your place. 
I'd always put in one of those fancy smashy toilet fresheners in your toilet when I'm done cleaning it. And I'll always make your bed. I'd fold your sheets all professionally, just like they do in a hotel. And hey, I might even leave a cute devoted cuddle buddy in your bed for you for cuddling purposes. That's me. I'm the cuddle buddy. Or think about how clean I'll keep your clothes. They'll smell brand new. And that's not from me switching out the old ones so I can take them because they smell like you. I promise. And I'm tech savvy too. I'll even build your PC for you if you get me the parts. And I swear on my life that I won't bug it. Probably. Isn't this all such a nice deal for you? All you have to do is give me a little bit of space in your place, and in return, I'll be like your own personal little housewife on steroids. On steroids, as in I'm really devoted to you and my job taking care of you. Not like I have super duper big muscles due to illicit substances or anything like that. Besides, I'm sure you're not into the muscular bodybuilder type. Wait, are you? Because you know I could work out. Anyway, never mind that. I'll be such a good addition to your home. So please won't you let me stay with you? I love you so much and you really look lonely here. So you know, you look like you could do with some love and affection well. I just happen to have some love and affection right here. Enough to shower you with it every day. I know I have some boundary issues and I really try to work on that. I really do. It's just that I love you so much that it's hard to control myself is all. But if you let me stay with you, I'll try to love you at a distance you're comfortable with. So, okay, first things first. Your room is your room. I get that. I promise I won't enter your room without your permission. I'll respect the sanctity of your own space, and that also means I won't be setting up any cameras, or using existing cameras. Not that I have any, probably. And I'll try not to be suffocating with all the talking and... <sighs> well, that sounds really hypocritical right now, doesn't it? I've just been talking your ears off this whole time. Sorry, I know I can talk a lot. And maybe you might get tired of me going on and on, especially when it's about you. I really just can't shut up about you. I just can't help it. I just love you so darn much. Even though I'm talking about all the work I do for you, I just can't stop fantasizing about it. And I just can't stop talking about it. There's no way I couldn't love you. And so these kinds of loving words just flow so effortlessly out of my mouth. But if you want me to shut up, I'll shut up. Whenever you want. If you ever find me annoying, just let me know. I'll shut up for you. I'll do anything for you. But if you ever find yourself in the mood for me to talk your ears off about how much I love you, then just let me know. I'll be glad to be my normal self for you again. What I'm saying is, I'd do anything for you. Anything, okay? Normally, a person would say they're exaggerating, but not me. I really mean it. Every word, every letter, there's just one limitation. I just shut down when it's not about you, you know? I just... It has to be about you. The situation has to be about you. It can't be about anything else. When it's about you, everything else falls into place without me even trying. When it's about you, I can accomplish anything. But when it's not, well, you already know. I already told you. I can't even show up for work when it's not for you. I can't do basic things like that when it's not about you. I can't do basic things like that when it's about me. I'd love to be yours. You'd fill me with so much purpose if I was yours. And you know, 
I just want to be near you. I just want to be close to you. I know I'm suffocating. I know I'm a bother. So I can't be as near to you as I'd like. But I'd like to be as close to you as you'll allow. I'd love to be as close to you as is convenient. As is useful to you. I just want to be useful to you, is all. I just want to be good for something. So won't you let me be that? I'd love to be something substantial to you. But if you just want a tool, then I'll be a tool for you. I'll be anything for you. Because I love you. So won't you let me be just a little closer? Then, won't you let me stay with you? Won't you give me another reason to love you? <gasps> Thank you so much. You won't regret this, I promise. I, I'm so happy I could faint. I mean, I'm not fainting so far, so that's good. But it's definitely a possibility. Ah. <sighs> I love you so much. Thank you for doing this. I'll never forget this. I'll always love you. In any way you want. <laughs>